with Britain in the years 1820, 1847, 1856, 1861, 1880, and 1892, resulting in a series of obligations on the Shafdun. In return, Britain promised to protect Bahrain against external aggression, maintain the autonomy of its entity, political, economic interests, protect the interests of, the, of its citizens and in the abscess, and oversee its foreign affairs. Those treaties took effect till 14th of August 1971, when they were ended, allowing Bahrain to announced its semi-political independence when the British military presence was replaced by the U.S. In 1968, Bahrain Defense Force, BDF, was founded by an Amiri decree by Amir Isa bin Salman al-Khalifa, where his eldest son, Crown Prince Hamad, the current king, who had just graduated from the Mons Officer Cadet School, was ready to head the armed forces. Since then, the Commander-in-Chief Hamad bin Isa has ensured keeping BDF loyal to the, royal, to the ruling family and pursued to keep that military forces, that military force formed from close tribes and families, in addition to mercenaries. Where the supreme positions were monopolized by the members of the ruling family, this intended discrimination prevented the wide majority from being recruited only because they are Shia. BDF has, no, has now more than 12,000 personnel, a large number among them are naturalized Bahrainis who were not born in Bahrain. By law, military personnel are prohibited from joining political parties or campaigns, however they have no they have to obey orders that direct them to vote to candidates supported by the government. It is not a choice for them to vote freely or oppose orders. In general, the military structure is similar to the tribal hierarchy where orders are issued from the supreme commander. This structure guarantees a level of loyalty and obedience that saves the tribal mentality of dealing with people as subjects rather than citizens. Although Bahrain has a small area, there are lots of military bases and zones. Vast areas and most islands are classified as military zones and prohibited areas where nobody is allowed to reach. Currently, there are 10 military and security bodies, which are Royal Bahraini Army, Royal Bahraini Air Force, Royal Bahraini Navy, Royal Guard, National Guard, National Security Agency, Special Security Force Command, Public Security Forces, Coast Guard, and Police Community Services. Civilian positions were also affected by military influence. The three main public hospitals are under the control of the army. Five ministers of the current cabinet have a military background. One of them is the Minister of Education. The government allocated around $1.6 billion annually for defense and security for the current two years, 2011 and 2012, about 20% of current expenditures. This number is more than the allocated budget for education and health, which did not exceed 18%. Even more, Ministry of Defense, Ministry of Interior, and National Guard are excluded from being audited by the Financial Control Office regarding expenses related to national security and classified as secret. With the help of the U.S. and the Gulf Cooperation Council, Bahrain has made significant efforts to upgrade its defense systems and modernize it, its armed forces over the last 20 years. Besides that, Bahrain gets technical assistance and training support of the U.S. where they both signed a defense cooperation agreement in October 1991 granting the U.S. forces access to Bahraini facilities and ensuring the right to preposition material for future crisis. Two days before 14th of Feb 2011, the scheduled date for demonstrations in Bahrain, BDF Commander-in-Chief 
Khalifa bin Ahmed al Khalifa was promoted to the position of Marshal. When the peaceful demonstrations and protests filled the Lul roundabout, King Hamad headed to the BDF headquarters wearing a military uniform to symbolize an approval for intended armed actions, which they referred as cleansing operations. On 15th of March 2011, King Hamad issued a royal decree declaring a state of national safety emergency law for three months and handing over the rule of the country to the army commander who is a member of the ruling family, Marshal Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. As a result, Bahrain Army Forces, together with the Gulf Peninsula Shield Forces, disperse the peaceful settings by force. Military checkpoints were erected all over the country. Many people reported that they were beaten or tortured by the army, all under their supervision. Where the soldiers acted like they won a war against the citizens. Soldiers and the police started stealing people's money and properties, considering the stolen, the stolen goods as spoils. Hundreds were arrested under the supervision of the army and were presented to the military court, which began trying civilians for harsh charges. The trials targeted doctors, nurses, teachers, journalists, religious figures, and politicians. And despite, despite the, the release of many accused of political activities, their trials are still ongoing. Those scenes expose a transition from a police state to a military state in the small kingdom of Bahrain. All, all such precautions intended only to protect power and wealth that the ruling family dominates. Uh, thank you for listening.